Why did the tigers at the Bronx Zoo get sick? I got an idea. I got an idea. Is that possibly why the tigers at the Bronx Zoo got sick? Because there is a giant cell antenna pointed at the Bronx Zoo? Is, th is that possibly why the tigers got sick? That's a very good possibility. Very good possibility. Highly probable. Cell tower. This is the southeast corner of the Bronx Zoo. And the tower is pointing north directly at Tiger Mountain. The tower is pointing directly at Tiger Mountain. You can see the majority of the antennas on the tower are pointed north. There's a few pointed the other way. So previously we were right here, you know, the southeast corner of the Bronx Zoo, and there was a cell tower pointing into here. Tiger Mountain's around here. Uh, so right now we're around here, which is a little closer to Tiger Mountain, uh, towards the east of the Bronx Zoo. And I'm looking at these buildings. I mean, every single uh, apartment here has an antenna on it. Obviously not good. Uh, but more importantly, uh, the reason these tigers are getting sick is because there is literally new right technology Avenue, weaponry right pointing right at the tigers. Uh, you guys could see on the roof of this building right here, there's four of the new masts that are pointed directly you know, into the Bronx Zoo. So this row of buildings on the left here are the buildings that are the furthest west. They're closest to you know, the east side of the Bronx Zoo. And those have towers on them as well that are pointing towards the zoo. We should probably get on the Bronx River Parkway. Bronx River, if I get on the Bronx River Parkway and I look to the right, we should be able to see more stuff. So again, we see the Wi-Fi weaponry on the buildings pointed towards the Bronx Zoo where the tigers are getting sick. So we saw the cell tower that was right at the southeast corner of the Bronx Zoo. And we took a look at some of the buildings that were furthest west on the east side of the Bronx Zoo and we saw some new Wi-Fi masks. Uh, now, right what we're to going to do is to get on the Bronx River Parkway South and see if we can see anything uh, that's pointed towards the, the zoo. Uh, obviously, you know, it would be great if we could somehow get to the zoo or go to a piece of land that's by the zoo and look inside and see if we could see any towers inside. You know, I'm sure there's some devices near the enclosure inside the zoo that might be getting them sick, but I think just having, you know, that antenna tower pointed directly north at them, I'm sure there's some like conflict where, you know, since the tower is really high up and pointed directly north and it's called Tiger Mountain. I'm assuming the tigers are on a mountain, an elevated piece of land. That's probably right in the line of sight of the in the tower but uh, I just really wanted to come down here and show you guys you know this is why the tigers got sick you know this is why you know yes there's a ton of antenna masts and towers around a lot of places and people aren't getting that sick but you know this specific scenario has you know an actual full cell tower pointed directly at the tigers that's an unusual circumstance I don't see anything and that there's a lot of trees too you know, it's not like the the River Parkway is elevated. You know, you're not like able to see a lot of things. We're gonna have a further south view. We should be able to see that tower we saw earlier. Okay, two towers. One right here, one tower there, and one tower right here. Those don't look like the Wi-Fi towers. That that's that right that tower right there is the tower we saw earlier. Yeah, there's nothing to really see. It's just that tower we saw earlier pointing up. So that's really all the investigative work I can do on foot. Uh, the next thing to figure out would be when were the recent antennas put up and did they add anything to that tower recently? You know, those are the main questions to ask. Those are the main questions to ask. So I don't really know if this is going to, uh, I mean, ex expose anything besides reinforcing the idea that you know, these, these towers and these antennas are getting people sick. So I just got home and I'm doing some research on these cell towers and these antennas, where they're located, when they were put up. Unfortunately, 
Now the cell towers don't have a maintenance update. It says when the tower was originally registered, but it does not say when new antennas were put on the tower, so that's useless. And the antennas themselves are not registered with a date. So if you look up an antenna on the Antenna Search website, it does not say what date the cell antenna was registered. What I do find suspicious is that right where Tiger Mountain is, there's a single antenna from Sabao Meat Products Incorporated. Now, why would a meat company have a single antenna right in the middle of the Bronx Zoo? Sabao Meat Products, you know, they're selling sausage and salami. I, I mean, I don't really get it. Why does a meat company located in New Jersey have an antenna tower that's in the middle of the Bronx Zoo. I don't really know what to think at this point. I mean, all of this is fishy stuff, and, and I'm sure we could look into it further, but uh, uh, that, that's all the information I have access to now. I'm sure some of you guys might be able to find, you know, when these antennas are registered. I mean, you know, there's no real point. We know all of these new masts that are on the buildings were put up very recently. Uh, so, you know, there's no need to explain that. So, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I would appreciate if you guys could, you know, like the video, uh, share it, subscribe, as I am, you know, putting myself at risk here somewhat, uh, doing a bunch of wacko daco stuff. Uh, if you guys want to support me further, you can check out all the stuff that's available down in the comments below. Uh, outside of that, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, we're going to do the live stream later tonight on the Frank Tufano channel. Uh, that'll be down in the description below. I think we'll do like a Toyota Corolla uh, live stream discussion and we'll see what you guys have to say. Thank you.